All right, what's up? Welcome. Hope you're doing great. Anyway, let's get into what programming language I think you should learn first in order to make learning a lot of other languages a lot easier. Alright, so I wish someone would have told me this when I started because I probably just like you spent a lot of time looking at which language would be the best one to start with and um, the way that I look at it, I think that Java is the best one to start with. There's a couple of reasons for it. One of the reasons being like a lot of universities use it um, as for their introductory courses to programming and with good reason because first of all, it's low level enough that when you go into learning like Python, JavaScript, Ruby, um, Swift, Objective-C, all these other languages, uh, they're pretty much going to be simpler versions of Java. So for instance, here's an example of two pieces of code. The top piece of code is written in Python and the bottom piece is written in Java. And both of these pieces of code do the same thing which is they basically create an array from zero to four, and then it loops through that array and prints every value inside that array. So as you can probably tell, the Python code is pretty close to natural language or how I just said it. It creates an array zero to four, and then for every value inside the array, it prints that value. So it's pretty close to how I said it. That's why it's relatively easy to understand Python compared to Java where you first have to specify what type of value is gonna be inside the array. And then for the for loop, you have to also again specify what type of value you're trying to get out of the array. There's a bit more code compared to the Python version. The bottom piece of code is a bit different and it's a bit harder to grasp, but it's also not too different from Python, which means that in some cases, you will be able to write Java code and have it work even if it's a different language or you'll have to take away something or maybe rearrange how you wrote things but it's pretty much going to be like you'll it'll be relatively natural for you to write python or something like that after you know java uh, the second reason is that java is low level but it's higher level than something like c otherwise some of you might have been thinking like well if the first reason is that Java is low level, then why not go with C++? But the reason I think is that Java is relatively low level, but it's also high level enough that it's pretty simple to learn. And um, the learning difference between learning Java and learning Python, I don't think it's big enough for it to be a big difference. Compared to learning C++, which I think is there's a quite a big difference between learning C++ and learning Java. It's learning C++ and learning Python, like there's a huge difference between those two languages, which means that uh, once you've learned C++, there will be a bigger difference when you go to Python. Um, it, it's still relatively like you'll still have a lot of benefit from learning C++, but um, it'll take you longer to learn it as compared to Java, which will take you shorter to learn and it'll be very transferable to the other languages because it's really similar to the other languages. Um, and once you learn Java, you can also go backwards and learn C++ if you want. And it'll be easier to go that way than go from Python to C++. So that's the second reason, simply that it's, it's good enough, it's low level enough, but it's also high level enough. So it's kind of a good balance. Also, before I end the video, I want to have just a short disclaimer saying that if you know that you're going to be working with like iOS development or something, if you know you're going to be working in a specific area, then pick the language that they use in that area. This video is for a person who wants to become a programmer and who wants to take the most efficient path towards learning a lot of different languages and a lot of different frameworks. And so for that, I think Java is really good. But if you're working in a specific area, then pick that language or the most commonly used language in that area. Um, and with that said, I think 
I'm done and I hope you enjoy it. So thank you for watching and uh, if you feel like it, you can subscribe and if you don't feel like it, don't.